the future has to be discussed with regard to the present because a lot of things that are happening now will shape what we will be uh, in 20 or 30 years from now. And one of the things that is happening now and which we must grapple with in order to shape our future, first is the digital disruption. Digital disruption and the challenge of news organization are inextricably intertwined. Right now, digital, uh, as, as we speak, the print media is undergoing serious far-reaching changes, or let me put it bluntly, a decline in circulation. And with it, of course, comes influence. Advertising revenues are also migrating to broadcast and digital. And that is weakening print. But this originates from the effects of the growing influence of digital media. So the, we, we need to ask ourselves in the newsrooms, how do we respond to this? And it's a pity that in Kenya we're asking ourselves this question now, a question we ought to have asked 30, 20 years ago, 10 years ago. Because digital is disruption did not start here. It has laid waste to newspapers in the US. It has destroyed media establishments in Europe. It's eating away at the strength and power of traditional media houses in the UK. We have been very slow in Kenya to respond to the challenge of the digital disruption. That has been one of our problems. Now, why is not something I would go into, but what has happened as a result, or what do we need to do? Personally, I think that there has to be a very hasty and courageous decision by the media houses to invest in the transformation of our newsrooms. It cannot be a half-hearted effort. Uh, the half-hearted effort it has been all this time. It is costly. It is costly because it means you have to reorganize and even physically rebuild the newsrooms. That's a lot of money. It means retraining. It means investment in new content management systems. And it means uh, dealing with the emotional and uh, reputational cost of throwing out people and bringing in new ones. It's an upheaval. But this upheaval has to be confronted. And I think it is something that we have been slow to do and we must do it now.